everyone. I am your average gamer. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the video. It's finally here. Hogwarts Legacy. I've created my character and let's get started. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, we can't see what's pulling the coach, so it's probably a Thestral. Or two. All right, here comes the opening cutscene. Games and Wizarding World. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hmm. 
Merlin's beard. H how did you wait? We do not know. Whoa. Hang on. Bitten in half by a dragon. Oh, and now we can see the Thestrals, because we saw that guy die. That makes sense. The key! Give me your hand! Adios! Whew, barely made it away. I was not expecting that. Are you alright? Uh, uh, You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright, press down to heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Alright. We're able to control our character. Um, I'm playing on my PC, but I'm using a PlayStation 5 controller. I've always been a Harry Potter fan ever since I was younger. I grew up with the books and I've watched all the movies. I'm not, I don't know every detail, so I will probably make mistakes, but I'm interested to see Hogwarts Castle and talk about my memories from before. I hope you enjoy watching the playthrough. Portkey take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The Portkey was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that Portkey to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay, I'm trying not to interrupt as they talk. Um, he was mentioning a port key. Um, it looks like that key that we touched was a port key which is an item in the Harry Potter world that teleports you to a designated location. So as soon as we grabbed that key, it took us to this place. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. <laughs> Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Okay. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh, is this how I get access to my ancient magic? Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. 
but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Just taking a second to look around. Those waves look pretty good down there. All right, we'll move on. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay, tap R2 to perform a basic cast. Excellent! Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling the camera relative targeting and settings. Huh. So I can't move the character with the right thumbstick. Gotcha. Yeah. Target these jugs with my magic spells. I like how that looks. All right, let's see what's going on down here. Oh, apparently we can slide. It was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. Okay, can we climb that high? We'll have to see. Just taking in the view for a minute. Okay, um, right here. Okay, we can climb a decent distance. He went this way. What's over here? Oh, here we go. Got a treasure chest. 59 gold or galleons, maybe? We're close now. It's just ahead. Okay, this is probably that scene Steady yourself. from the preview trailers. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that looks so cool. Almost there! Figured out a jump or dodge yet. Looks like that'll be something that can... Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay, as I was saying, we can't like jump or dodge roll yet, so we'll just have to go through. Okay, the mini-map shows your surroundings. Press up to toggle the quest objective detail. See what that's all about. Alright, so you're here. 
on the mini-map, bottom left. If we press up on the D-pad, what does that do? Okay, so it's telling me exactly what I need to do. Gotcha. And there's a point on the mini-map in gold, which is probably the objective. I'm just taking a look around, seeing if there's anything else. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! I wonder if this is Merlin, maybe? That enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Oh wow, I can kind of see through the... Oh, it's like a mirror, never mind. But it's not reflecting what's behind me. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. Interact with the magic. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. So now we're inside that room that the mirror was showing. Huh, it looks like there's a goblin up there. Like from Gringotts Bank. In the books or movies, if you've watched them or read them. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. So Stay this close. is another type of bank or vault. Oh, and there we've got the carts. After you. So this is not Gringotts, but it's similar design. Gonna take a ride in one of those carts. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Oh, this you is want really to take cool. A, breath? a what? We're gonna go under some water. 
That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. This reminds me of the Harry Potter land in Florida. There's one of the rides. I don't remember what it's called, but you can you go through underground Vault on a number. cart. Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Okay. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Again, I'm just trying not to talk over them when they do. But it looks like there's a link between that dragon that attacked us and that other goblin. Thank you for your help. Before I head in there, it looks like there's something over here. Some more gold. I'm not sure if we only use galleons or not. I think it's... What, canuts, sickles, and galleons? Pretty sure that's the money in the Harry Potter world. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you the might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. All right, steady your wand with L, guided along this symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion. So we start with X, X, and then we try to move along this. Huh, all right. Press left to cast Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. All right, so it's telling us that this wall is a bit suspicious. And we can cast our spell to reveal something. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, 
then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. It's really dark. He's got his wand lit up with Lumos. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Alright, before we check this out, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow the channel, and you need at least a thousand subscribers before you can partner with them. So, if you guys can help me reach a thousand subscribers, then I'll do some sort of giveaway, possibly of um, this game itself, Hogwarts Legacy. So, we'll see if I can reach a thousand subscribers before I end this playthrough. If I do, then I'll definitely do a giveaway of some sort. So, if you're if you'll help me out with that, I would appreciate it. Let's see what this is. Lumos, what happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Okay. My guess is I have to do Revelio to reveal the statue. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, so I guide the path and just press X when I get there. You've acquired the Wand Lighting Charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell slot. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Hold R2 and press Triangle. Okay, so you hold R2 and press the assigned button here. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. So if I want it to match what the statue is doing, I need to be in front of it. I wonder if I'm going to have to fight these guards. Look out! Protego! Accio! Descendo! Levioso! Deposo! Deposo! Okay, I press triangle. To protect against in incoming attacks. Oh, nice. If you time it right, it looks like. Okay. Levioso! Stupefy! Confringo! Oops. Tap R2 to destroy with the basic cast. Okay, and it looks like I can press O to roll. What am I targeting? I don't see any enemies. Stay close! Oh, we killed them all? There's no one left to target?
Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos. Oh. Where am I supposed to go? I'm guessing these little... What's happening? The lights are of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Hinting in the direction. Just che checking out, see if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I don't see any hidden treasure chests or anything around here. Okay, I went too far in the wrong direction. There's no walls. So I kind of just have to follow these lights. where they're leading me. That glow again. Okay, we've got more statues. I need to cast Revelio, right? Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh, what's over there? Can I go over there? Lumos. Yeah, I got a treasure chest. Some more money. Don't know if there's anything else hidden around here before I activate those statues. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Okay. One at a time, or do I need to do all three? Got you. Wonder if I need to do all three. Need to back up a little bit for this one, I think. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh. Missed the pressing triangle. Potato, stupid guy. Stupid guy. Stupid guy. Looks like if you time it correctly on a block, you'll cast a spell after you attack them. After you block. Okay, hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage. Indicated by gold numbers. Protego, stupefy. Okay, so if you hold triangle, you'll cast stupefy. Stupefy. There we go. Stupefy. And it's casting against the Stupefy. one you have targeted, not the one that's attacking you. Okay, that's interesting. Stupefy. 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 It's hard to see the enemies behind you, so I'm glad it gives you that symbol above your head to know when to Stupefy. block. direction. Press L3 to sprint. Okay, very nice. You can run. Any other chests or anything I missed? Revelio. Let's 
see what's going on up here. We've opened some kind of gateway. That red is probably a warning. Ah, if you look at it from the back, it's like a normal mirror. Look at it from this side, and there's a room to go into. Let me check if there's any Lumos. hidden chests around here before I proceed. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's take a step through here. Got fire and an unlit item here in the middle. We'll probably have to light this. Maybe not. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Okay. I wonder. There's some bottled memories in there. Follow my lead. Oh, that's so cool, just like the movies. Oh, who is this guy? All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, 
uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Oh, that wasn't very nice. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> What's going on? The vault does not like what's happening. Wow. Vault Guardian. So powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, is that the Hogwarts Express? This forest looks so cool. Is this our first view of Hogwarts Castle? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Oh, wow, that looks really good. Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you all again, and as always, have a good day.